What is happening, guys? Welcome to the Chainpile Music. Be sure to like and subscribe on the channel. Uh, and thank you for those who have subscribed. And if you haven't, if you're a fan of music, if you're a fan of Mars Volta, if you're a fan of, of various other music, uh, check this out. Check the channel out. I do a lot of think pieces on just music that I'm into. Also, be sure to check out the other links that are above my head, such as the Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Chainpile Music. Talk about the uh, Music Fridays on a Saturday. That's kind of my show in a sense uh i talk about music that came out on friday and i talk about it on saturday morning so uh check that out also uh, my song whip check out my music and then obviously the instagram as well man i wanted to do this video really quick get a lot of videos today for the j pal channel but i wanted to do this this video to record this video really quick just because i came across arguably the best the best mars volta interview probably on the internet and I have to really give kudos to Zane Lowe. Um, I had no idea that... I, th this was a really impressive interview for many reasons. Because he's interviewed a lot of people. He's interviewed Jack White, which is I've talked about on the channel. One of my favorite musicians ever. Omar Rodriguez Lopez, my favorite musician, period. And obviously the Mars Volta, a huge fan of Cedric, Big Source of Allah. And... Zane Lowe really gives a shit about music, you know, because sometimes you you don't know what's a quip, what is a just, you know, someone's doing it as a job or someone's trying to get clout, etc. There's a lot of disingenuousness with social media, with journalism, with interviewers today. Excuse me. There's a lot of disingenuousness, and I feel like it is. there's been a separation of artists that want to speak to certain people because there's a lack of trust there. I feel like in a lot of ways, but Zalo does a, a really excellent job of creating this really, this space of comfort, uh, this space of genuineness, this space of caring about what's important, right? Without, without just going direct as like a, a regular, like a regular popcorn interview, you know, um, so I really commend, shout out to Zane Lowe, I really commend him for his interview style, and I'm referring specifically to this Mars Volta interview that Zane Lowe did through the Apple Music uh, YouTube channel, and he does a phenomenal interview with Cedric, Bixler Zavala, and Omar, Omar Rodriguez Lopez, and, and uh, he does it in a way that's very genuine, not forceful, not pushy. And we fi you find out a lot of information about uh, about the about these two folks about kind of what happened around uh, you know why the band broke up to begin with what was happening during that time uh, the thought process around them making music kind of like on a I guess just you know finding that information out now I think is even more important than maybe of those who who found out then you know what I mean. Um, I feel like we're finding some new information here about the band members during this time, but it's very beautiful. It's very beautiful. It's very honest, very genuine, a lot of people to express themselves. There's a lot of vulnerability, and I really commend Zane Lowe for opening that up. There is, like, terrible, terrible Mars Volta interviews on the internet because there's just people that just don't really care about the fucking band, and they know that these people don't care about the fucking band. You know what I mean? A lot of just these ridiculous questions, these straightforward questions without any real context, you know they're just doing a job. There's just a lot of really bad interviews. And when you have a bad interview, people don't want to open up. You know what I mean? So it's something that I try to do with my 440 Guitar Podcast YouTube channel. Feel free to check that out. During my interviews, because I care about music. I care about the guitar. I, I care about these things. And I am really proud of when I get... I find like I, I, I have a sense of breakthrough where the artist recognizes that, understands that, and really like feels comfortable to, to discuss things that maybe they wouldn't discuss normally. You know, I've been blessed to have that with Nick Reinhardt that I interviewed, Carson McWhorter, uh, even with uh, Kirk Douglas from uh, The Roots, the guitar player. Shout out to him as well and all those guys, everyone on the 440. But uh, I'm halfway done with the interview, but I had to make a video to watch this interview. If you're a fan of the Mars Volta, obviously the album came out, watch it. 
Zane Lowe, man, shout out to you again. He does a really great job just positioning these questions. And some of these questions aren't really about the music in general or not about the album. He just, he doesn't force it. You know what I mean? Like he really, he's, he, you can tell that he's really a fan and you can tell that he's very, um, purposeful with his questions. And I just really respect and appreciate that. I'll be honest, guys. I watched the Anthony Fantano's review on the Mars Volta album and i wasn't i wasn't mad that he didn't like the album i was mad because it seemed like he didn't it seemed like he didn't really care about the band to begin with seemed like he just listened to it he he blindly compared it to what the band how the band was playing prior to then And then he created a bunch of opinions that didn't really have a context or there wasn't really any evidence to say that, oh, this is bland, this is, this is careless. Like there's just a lot of ridiculous descriptions that don't really make a lot of sense. Um, And Anthony Fantano, you know, it's nothing against a person. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just critiquing just kind of how he's critiquing the, the, the album in general. You know, he he's a he can be detailed on certain things. So to me, it just seems like he's not really a Mars Volta fan. He's just kind of reviewing because it, it's like, oh, I've kind of heard of them. They gotta. So I, that that's part of my my issue with a lot of people that review albums. You know, the the, the Pitchforks of the world, Rolling Stone magazine, a lot of these people that they review things that don't really have a necessarily connection to it to give it like the best review or the most fair review possible. And obviously, you know, this can be up for debate. You may disagree with me on that, but I just watched that video and I was like, you don't really give a shit about the Mars Volta and maybe you don't have to, to review the album, but I feel like he listened to it maybe once and had an idea without but i just feel like there's such a lack of context you know what i mean for mars volta fans we have such a lack of we have we have a huge context around the entire paradigm of the band from a sonic nature even you know what i mean like we don't have to know them personally but if you're if you count down from nocturnic you know from like octahedron you know nocturnicate this album and then even compare say to benham goliath this album like you can like this is obviously a very good album this is not a not a careless album, you know, it's a, it's a tighter album. Maybe it's not as crazy, super experimental, but the things that it attacks is very, very good. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I, that kind of left the, the, I, I like a lot of what Anthony Fantano does. I did not care for that review. I don't think he did a very good job and he's it. And he's even said himself on some previous reviews he's done in the past that he's watched. He's like, Oh, I didn't do a good job there. Anthony Fantano, you did not do a good job reviewing this, this album, in my opinion. Um, but that's my opinion. But going back to this and this, uh, Zane Lowe interview, amazing interview. This is the best Mars Volta interview that I've seen on the internet. So, Please watch this if you haven't watched it already. Uh, please watch it if you're a Mars Volta fan. I just wanted to express that. Check out the album if you get the chance. Uh, I downloaded it digitally on the Bandcamp because uh, it was available. They finally made it available to purchase digitally. So I, I went ahead and bought it. Uh, despite the fact that I downloaded it for free during that Thursday or whatever it was when it was available that Thursday. But I, I ended up buying it. So anyway, wanted to share that. Thanks again, guys. J Powell Music. And I'll see you guys next video.